Hello everybody and welcome back to Slay the Spire. This is episode 7 and I just want to say another big thank you to everyone that's been supporting the show. I mean, it's been received rather well and I'm very, very happy everyone's enjoying it. I am enjoying it. I literally want to just play more and more and more and more and more of it. Of course, there will be more coming future. I'm going to playing this game all the way through to the final release and then probably playing that for quite a while to come. So this might be the come the new every single day episode on my channel. And I do hope you all follow and you all enjoy it along with me. I mean, it is extremely fun. It's very interesting. Every single run. Although similar in some regards, I assume due to it being the beta, still, ooh, excuse me, um, but still exciting and still very interesting. In the last run, we made it to the third floor, and uh, we made it pretty far. We fought the giant head of death and died and lost, and that was sad. And we did start a new one as the silent, but I played a little bit of fast and a little bit of loose, and I kind of got my hand as handed to me. But for now. Let's uh, start a new game. And I'm going to play the silent again since I feel we didn't make it very far and we kind of got a little bit of rob there. So let's take the silent again. I tried a different approach using the daggers, seeing how that went, but it didn't really work out too well. Hello again. I brought you back. Okay, thank you very much for bringing me back, Mr. Man. Okay, so basically we now need to decide which route we're going to take. Last time we went for a very monster oriented route. Now I want to go this time for a very question mark. I mean, what is the most question marks we do? This is one, this is two, three, four, five, five question marks in that route. Middle route we get to one, also two, three, uh, four. Five. Also five. So it looks like either any route we take is going to lead us to five. That was one, two, no. So that was either two or three. So it looks like the most question marks route we'll get is by taking this route. So let's take that. Route. Take the first route against a cultist. Oh my lord! First round cultist. That's slightly unfortunate. We do draw two extra cards every turn. Of course, that does make this go. Let's go through our stock a lot quicker. So we know the cultist is going to pump himself, so we might as well get this initial damage through because we know he's going to straight up pump himself with that little feather thing. And then my power is unmatched. I'm, I'm very glad, Mr. Feather Man. I'm glad your power is unmatched. So he's going to do six. So one survivor card is good. Discard a block, get two attacks in in the turn. We pretty much just need to go for that very aggressive, very um, kill him as soon as possible type strat. When you fight against the cultist. So let's neutralize him, make him weak. Block one. Gonna tank uh, one damage this turn, hit him twice in the turn. Very, this is very fast and very loose once again, but this is a cultist and it's, we know what he's doing, we know what his game plan is. He wants to buff himself with the little feathers as far as possible and then kill us eventually. So we kill him first and then the problem will be solved. So last time we took the dagger first. This time I want something different. Deal 12 damage, innate. Exhaust. Innate. Start each combat with this card in your hand. I'm sorry, what? You give me a card that's going to be do 12 damage every single turn on the first turn. Yes. I don't even need to look at the next card. I know exactly which one I want. So you're taking 12, Mr. Looter, and you literally don't have a choice about it because I'm just going to always have it. So there you go. Enjoy 12 damage to your face. Uh, we are all our. Um, defensive cards there, so we actually have no defensive cards left. I'm gonna tank two because it's almost impossible to block all this guy's damage unless you use two gems, but I'm not gonna use two gems. Uh, let's neutralize him, take him down to seven, defend one, attack him twice. So we're gonna take another two here. So we've taken five in this game already, which is not not too good considering this is only the second fight. Um, but uh, yeah, here I'm going to actually just attack, attack. And defend once and end the turn because he is blocking. So we need to kill him next turn. We need two attack cards next turn, or we in we in prob we in a bad bad place. And we did get two attack cards, which is awesome. So we can definitely kill Luta and not lose any gold, which is of course the most critical part. Okay, so here we got slice deal five damage, not acceptable. I'm gonna go for noxious fumes because we all know how good that is. And now we can say we're gonna try the question mark route. As you walk into the room, you hear gurgling and a grinding of metals. Before you is a slime-like creature that ate too much scrap for its own good. From the center of the, the creature, you see glints of strange light, perhaps something magical. 
Looks like you can get some treasure if you just reach inside. It's opening. However, the acid and sharp objects may hurt. Uh, yes, I'll take the 25%. Ouch! All you find is corroded metal and a bit of burning pain. However, you are still convinced there's a relic. Lose 4 HP and 35% chance. Ah! All you find is corroded metal and a bit of burning pain once again. But you take another chance and success! After rummaging through the metal and burning acid, you finally grab hold of a relic and yank it out. You pull your way out of the ooze, damaged but rewarded. So we took. 5, 4, 3, so that is 12 damage for a relic. So I'm going to hope it's a good relic, which is Ancient T set, which is not a good relic. Whenever you get rest side start the next combat, that is not good. Not worth it. Not worth the 12 damage, but I thought it's still early enough for us to take a chance. So this backstab card is just too good. Are we going to get it every round? Are you serious? I'm going to go Survivor. Welcome. No, 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 no. Welcome to survive. And we're going to neutralize this guy and take zero damage in that turn. Oh, I could have attacked. I forgot neutralize is zero. I thought neutralize was one. That's a massive misplay on my side. I mean, it's not massive, but it still sucks. We're going to dagger him and then I'll defend once in the turn. That sucks. We could have had a whole extra six damage on top of that. He would have been down to six, uh, 16 HP. And that would have been really good. But instead, he's not. And instead, we're going to have to block twice. And only attack once to get rid of his armor. But he does have poison on him. So, you know, he's starting to start slowly dying to poison. But we're taking 10. 10 for our misplay. It's what we deserve, guys. It's what we deserve. You know what? Let's block him again. It's fine. Start dying to poison, Biatch. The poison is just going to keep growing. Every round, the poison grows. Another piece. Another piece. Another piece and before you know it, it's too late. The poison is crept deep inside you and you are dead, Mr. Jawbone. You are dead. Okay, so once again, I do love the noxious fume and I do love the poison approach. So we can definitely go into that. Deal 12 damage whenever you play a card this turn. Target enemy loses 3 HP. Deal 12 damage whenever you play a card this turn. So if I play this first, right? And then I play another thing. It deals 12 damage. Oh no, it deals 12 damage when I activate it. And then any card I play after that does an additional 3 damage to a target enemy. Interesting. Interesting. But I think I want to go for Sucker Punch. Because that weak could be very useful against bosses. So we say we're going to go to question mark. So let's go to question mark. Among the stone and boulders, you notice an intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You find gold spilling from its cracks. Maybe there is more inside. Move a card from your deck, lose 7 HP. Gain 50 to 80 gold. Gain 50 to 80 gold. That's easy. With all your might, you hack away at the statue. It soon crumbles, revealing a pile of gold. You grab as much as you can and continue onwards. Okay. Free gold. I'm never going to say no to that. Okay, so we have elite enemies. Something I'm bit, always a little bit scared of. They all have one relic charge. Oh, we were unfortunate, not lucky enough to get the uh, card we wanted. So we're going to neutralize this guy. Take him down to six, if I'm correct. Oh, we negated our neutralize. Interesting. So let's defend. Defend. Take no damage this turn instead of going for the damage. I don't know what route is the best route to go, but what we try to do now is just get to Noxious Fumes anyway. So, um... Yeah, we have four wound cards we need to worry about though. So let's get the Noxious Fume going. But that's only the next one. We're going to have to do this to discard a card. Let's discard a strike card, of course. And we're going to sucker punch this mother over here. And then he will unfortunately not get weakened due to the uh, little negate he had him on. But we are only going to take eight this turn. So we're going to have 41 HP because we're going to block eight from the um, survival card. And we know 41 is still pretty scary. I'm not going to lie to you. So we got three attacks coming this turn. Interesting. Very interesting. The poison is starting to start taking effect. So you might look at this. So let's weaken this man and deal three. No, let's weaken this man and deal three damage. Since we're not going to kill anyone this turn, we're just going to try and negate as much of the damage as possible. Oh, I had an extra block. <gasps> I forgot neutralizer zero. I need to stop making that mistake. It's huge. It's critical. It's seriously bad. I need to really stop making that mistake. Okay. Neutralize is zero. Mentalize that to myself. Neutralize is zero. Survivor is one. I keep confusing the two and it's causing massive, massive problems. So 
we're gonna get a lot of wound cards into our thing so we just want to go for as much dps as we can here so i think dps this guy dps this guy and then we might as well just uh do this get rid of a wound card enter so the reason i'm doing this spread out damage is because we have the noxious fume building every round it's building 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 and we could probably kill all three if we time it right with the noxious gas damage coming through because they are taking two every turn then three then more wow what a hand what a hand that is that is very bad for us that is very very bad we are going to tank too much damage here and this could potentially lead to a very very early game of a once again I think it was very unfortunate for us to get this specific fight, um, is what it comes down to. So we've got a two attacks coming through, we can block one. Okay, let's think. You're going to take four next turn, you're going to take five next turn, you're going to take five next turn. So you're 11, you are 14, and you are 7. We cannot deal that damage no matter how we place this. So we're going to have to survive it here. This card, the wound card. Throw this. Strike you, strike you, end the turn, and you will both die. So we had to use a potion there to survive, but it was, we didn't have a choice. We actually just didn't have a choice. We had to, we got a happy flower every three turns gain energy. That's amazing. Okay, so we got two dexterity. That is good. I'm going to take it. The reason dexterity is good simply because it, um, Simply because what it does is it makes our block physically do more block. So when we use a block card after using dexterity, we gain a shit load of block. So we're gonna knock just fumes here because that's always our starting route. And then what I think we want to do is we actually want to go for a survivor here. So we take zero damage this turn. We're gonna have to play a lot more defensively, I think. And then we're gonna take backstab and we're gonna straight out take you out. So I think the survivor card now I look at was the wrong play because we could take that guy out with backstab immediately. So, I mean, regardless of how we did it, we weren't going to have another attack in. So it doesn't really matter. So we do a lot less damage here. So I'm going to go for this and then I'm going to go for attack here on this man and attack here on this man. I'm going to spread it out once again since they are both poisoned. And um, did I block there? I mean, they're not going to do any... They're not going to do any physical damage, so I guess it's fine. That's probably why I didn't block there. The relic that doesn't, that like takes your vision away of what they're going to do is so scary. I can't ever even imagine a time where I wonder. So, like, 4 plus 3 is dead. 4 plus is not dead. So, we're going to go on new one attack. I survive myself. Uh, discard this end. And then go on new one attack. And then end the turn. And you will die to the poison. And he will die next turn to the poison. So we're going to win this fight. We're going to take no damage in this fight. Which is very, 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 very good. And I'm very happy about that. And um, hopefully we will be able to find a way to heal ourselves for 20 gold. And spend all enemy loses X strength. Apply X weak. I mean, that's fine. Uh, deal 7 damage if the enemy is poisoned. Deal 7 damage again. Uh, yes, please. I want Bane. So we should probably go rest up. But this might be a cleric, but we should probably waste up. But this might be a cleric. I said I was gonna do the question mark, guys. I know, I know we're on 10. See? You see, it was worth it. We found this beautiful, weird, like shrine. Before you lies an elaborate shrine to a forgotten spirit. Play, pray at the shrine and upgrade a card. Yes, please. I want to upgrade noxious fumes. Thank you. Say thank you very much for the free upgrade. I'll leave. I'll get the treasure chest here. Ooh, gambling chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and draw that many. Oh, are you serious right now? That's amazing. Oh, two rats with mush, uh, mushrooms growing around. Never very. It's always something that's scary for me. So, choose any number of cards to discard and replace. Oh, let's get rid of neutralize. Get rid of strike. Get rid of sucker punch. Get rid of strike. Get rid of survivor. Confirm. So, we got rid of five. We're getting five new ones. We get to do the noxious. What I wanted to do, and we get to defend twice, and then our turn. Sweet, so we're taking zero. Oh, we're taking two damage this turn, but they are gonna start getting poisoned into infinity and beyond. Getting very low there, getting very low there, but I think in the long run, this is definitely worth it. So, we're gonna take one damage, we will block once, and then we'll take uh, this uh, over here and end our turn. 
I mean, it's pointless to block again because we aren't going to take more than... We're not going to take damage. So using another blocker, we could have done it. We wouldn't have cost us anything, but it saves us one or two seconds by doing it this route. So we're taking 9 damage here, but we can block 10. Discard... Uh, in this case, we can discard Neutralizer, I think. We'll go for attack here. We'll go for attack here. And then I'll turn. We kind of want to kill them at the same time because they both explode when they die. So something we need to keep in mind. He strengthens himself. He's going to hit us. We're going to take zero damage. So we took only two damage this whole fight. If we had the guy that I like, the... Um, the... Ironclad, we would have actually taken zero damage there because we would have um, actually got a net positive. Strength potions, nice, some gold, and any heal. Draw three cards, discard one card, draw one card. If the card is a skill, gain three block. Ooh, I'm gonna go with that. That sounds great. I'm gonna fight an enemy here, that's fine. I'm not gonna, I might skip on the elite enemy <laughs> if I'm being honest. Sweet, so we can like straight up discard again. Um, I can discard. I'm going to discard the defend card, the neutralizer card, and I'll discard one strike card. Okay. So I'm straight up going to go for Noxious Fumes, of course. I'm then going to go for Backstab on this guy in the back. Since A, it's called Backstab, so I mean, it makes sense. I'm then going to go Sucker Punch on this good serve here to lower his attack. And I'm going to block five of that damage with defend or, uh, of that. So we're going to take two here again. We keep taking two around, you know, eventually, eventually we will die slowly but surely. So if Noxious Fume should go in and this uh, Laosh should be done for. So he's dead regardless. Uh, escape plan, let's go for draw card. It was not a skill. It was a skill. So we got three blocks. Sweet. So he's going to hit for seven. So we can block once here to eight. Uh, we actually messed up there. So let's go for attack there. And you know what? I'm actually just going to straight up block again. I don't want to take any damage. I don't want to take any, any damage at all. So Laos is dead. Poison's going to go up to five on Mr. And our Mr. Thief over here, our Mr. Looter. So he's now got five poison counters. The poison stacking strat is definitely the way to go. I'm, I'm, I'm realizing that this poison stacking, st uh, stacking strat is definitely the way to go. He's going to give himself some armor. Look for his. We need to do a lot of damage to kill him, actually. Okay, he is poisoned, so we get to do seven and another seven. Strike him, and you know what? Let's suck a punch him for the kill just to be sure. What better way to kill him than with a sucker punch? Catalyst, double and enemy's poison. That is so good. I'm going to go for Boomerang Flask for now because we're still in the early game. So I feel like um, I probably shouldn't have taken on a freaking massive scary guy. It was probably not the right choice. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of this defend, this defend, and the survivor card. i confirm this selection. Okay, so we're going to start off with Noxious Fumes. I'm going to go with Backstab. I'm going to go with Footwork. And we're going to end our turn. So he's going to buff himself. Which means every time he uses a skill card, or we use a skill card, he's going to get very strong. Problem, the Plague Doctor kind of only has skill cards. So he's going to get very, very strong, very, very fast, which is problematic for us. So we need to think about this. How do we want to approach this? We can attempt to out-poison him. Poison option. Oh, that's an attack card. That counts as an attack card. She's gonna do 16, we're gonna get, we're dead. We are straight up dead. Is that the case? Yeah, we're actually straight up dead. Man, I miscalculated again and we are straight up dead for it. Yeah. Fudge, the silent is actually so hard to play. <laughs> He's actually so hard to play. Um, But I'm not gonna give up, I'm gonna go for another round. Another round of silent. Quick, 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 let's go, go, go. go. I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm playing him like the, I think the problem is I'm playing him like the Ironclad. I think I'm, the problem is I'm playing him like an Ironclad and I shouldn't be playing him like an Ironclad. I should be playing him like... I'm gonna go this route. I should be playing him separately. I must be playing him this highly, highly defensive strat. We can't afford to take any damage type play. So it's gonna hit us 12. Unless we use three defense cards, we are going to take damage. So we have to use all three defense cards so we take no damage. We need to, what we need to do is we need to try never take damage and then chip to chip damage. That's our only chance. So, survivor damage. Confirm. 
Choose a card to discard, we get discard of the block, strike him, neutralize him, end the turn. So we're going to take no damage here, but the Castle are we killing him? But I think that maybe is the approach. Maybe we are not approaching the Silent properly. Maybe the Silent is meant to be played at a slower pace. We're going to do 12 damage. I can't block 12, so what do I do? I'm weakened, so I can't kill him anyway. So any way I look at it, I'm taking damage. I think early game, you must go for the first kill. We just took seven, and there was absolutely nothing we can do about it. So we can, once again, look at this. We have no attack. So even if we go for, we have no attack card. Like, we have no attack. It's so frustrating. Because we don't take damage, but we don't do a damage. We don't attack. Now we, and if we only get attack cards, then, like, it's the same situation. It's like this very long... Elongate the fight, which is not my style. Every attack he does weakens. Is that just how it is? Because that sucks walls, dude. Because that's why this... Oh, maybe that makes him a little bit harder than the others, though. Because of the fact that he weakens every attack. If he didn't weaken every attack, it would actually be probably too easy. Hmm. It's one of those weird situations. Neutralize him down to that. I guess the neutralize can like help us get like every time the neutralize cycles through we can actually get a single attack in. Okay, he's gonna do so I can do this. Choose to discard that and then we get two attacks through. So at least we got an attack throughs, which was actually great for a change. But still like I mean look at this fight. This fight took very long. And I took seven damage of hit. I would have taken seven regardless of how I did it. If I went more aggressive I probably would have taken it. Region potion isn't very nice to get. Noxious stream in our first hand. Yes, please. Yes, please. Cultus, that sucks, but uh, that's also kind of fine. So we didn't get a Noxious Humes here, um, but we do know Cultus is full on damage early game. We know this. Yes, yes, make yourself stronger. I understand, Mr. Mister Birdie. So we're going to defend here. We're going to tank one hit, but that's fine. We I mean, did make a few misplays in the last episode where we forgot that the thing counted for zero and because of that we did take damage so here we need to block uh, noxious fumes and block and end the turn i mean if you get early noxious fumes and you just start blocking from that point on you will win the you will win the fight eventually because your noxious fumes will stack indefinitely and you will win so it is like plausible to straight up just win the game like that if you want to so now it's going to go up to three so you're going to take 3 next turn, then it's going to keep going up by 1 slowly but surely. So I can do 12, so I can't kill him, but I can neutralize him. Down to 11, block. Uh, no, we want to discard one of these. Block, attack. So we took, what, 1 hit of damage so far, this fight? Looks like we took 1 hit of damage so far. He's got 2 poison counters on him. He's got 4 poison, he's pretty much dead. Yeah. I was going to say he's pretty much dead next turn from the poison, but then I realized technically he's just straight up dead right now. Gain 4 block next turn, gain 4 block. When we use 6 strength for 1 turn exhaust, gain 4 block. Um, I'm going to go with dodge and roll in this situation. So we're going to go to question mark again. I really want to go to question mark again. You made it into a puddle. It's made of slime goop. Frantically, you claw yourself out of several minutes as you feel the goop starting to burn. You can feel goop in your ears, goop in your nose, goop everywhere. Climbing out, you notice that some of your gold is missing. Looking back to the puddle, you see your missing coins combined with gold from unfortunate adventures mixed together in the puddle. Gain 75 gold, lose 11 HP, or lose 42 gold. You know what? I'm sick of losing HP. I'm gonna lose the gold. It's fine. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I think our greediness is what's been calling the. As you make your way down a long corridor, you see a banana, a donut, and a box floating about. That is not, that's very conspicuous, okay? What is this? I don't trust this for one second. No, upon close inspection, they are tied to strings coming from holes in the ceiling. There is a quite crackling from above as you approach the object. What will you do? At the end of your turn, lose one HP for each card in your hand. Max HP plus five, of course, let's go. You eat a donut, it really hits the spot, your max HP increase. Of course that's what you'd take in that situation. I'm gonna go for the fight here. Two question marks in a row, it's time to fight. Let's go. Sweet, first turn, Noxious Fumes, great. Um, double block, 
end of turn. So we take no damage, we get the poison on him. That just seems to be the way you need to play the silent. I think my highly aggressive silent play is uh, not its not the right approach. Uh, we can dodge raw here, but I think what we're really going to do is... Actually, you know what? We're a survivor. Discard, discard. Dodge roll, and then attack once. Let that poison do its job, you know? It is the hero. We are playing a Plague Master for a reason, and uh, we should embrace the Plague Masteriness of this guy. So he's going to be a 12, so if I do this, I can discard one of these. Attack one of these and do one of these and I'll take zero damage and the poison can keep growing Slowly but surely the poison will keep growing Sweet, so he's gonna try and uh, Do the whole Run away thing which is not good so we need to do like a shit ton of damage next turn or he's just gonna run away So I need like four, I need three attack cards I need three attack cards he's actually just gonna run away Oh my lord we got three attack cards it's like it was meant to be. He ain't running away from me. Literally, exactly the right amount of damage, or we would have lost 45 gold. Exactly the right amount of damage, or we would have lost 45 gold. That's extremely scary. In this agony, whenever you draw this card, add a copy of it to your hand, deal 4 damage. Exhaust. Whenever you draw this card, add a copy of it to your hand, deal 4 damage. Exhaust. That is amazing. That is amazing. So every time I draw it, I get a copy of it. So I get another version of it. Because this thing's sleeping. So we want poison. Yes, we just want a noxious fusion. And then I guess we strike. Strike. Endless agony. And then what you do, you don't want to use it. You actually want to let it go to your disco so you can draw it again to make a copy and then you keep doing that. Oh, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. So he's going to do 18. That's unacceptable. So he's going to do 13. That's still pretty much unacceptable. But we're going to block a lot of it and get 6 damage in. And let our poison start doing its thing. Let our poison start growing slowly but surely. That's the thing about poison. Once you get poison, it just it gets worse. And worse, and before you know, before you realize what's happening, boom, it's too late. And the poison has reached the depths of your soul. And that is how the poison works. Literally, noxious fumes, once you poison noxious fumes, they get one extra counter every turn. Just another one, and another one, and another one. So, what we should do here is we should actually just attack, and we should just defend, defend, and end our turn. Then both get to our. Discord. When they come back, then there's two, and they become four, and those four become six, etc., etc., etc. Oh, it's beautiful. It's actually beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go for a dodge and roll here, a neutralize here, and a survive here, and we're gonna get rid of this, and we're gonna defend here. So we're gonna take no damage from this guy, and the poison is just gonna keep growing slowly every round, just a little bit more poison, a little bit more poison this round than there was than there was last round, you know, before this man knows what's happened. His whole body is succumbed by the poison. We are flooding our deck with endless agony cards. Okay, so this is where we go for damage because he's not going to attack us. So this is where that this is time to get that damage in. Look at that! Look at that beautiful damage. He keeps slowing our stuff. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. So he's gonna do 18, so we wanna go for a neutralize here. Just one damage, it's fine. Um, choose a card discard, discard the damage card, go for blocking, blocking, blocking. We're gonna take one hit of damage here. I really don't care because that poison is growing. It's growing inside him. He doesn't even know he's poisoned. That's the best part. And we just have four agony cards, so we go, you know what? Get agony, motherfucker. Easiest fight. Oh, he's not dead. I made a mistake. Oh, he actually wasn't dead. He was on one. Miscalculated and lost half my HP because of it, but uh, that's life. Sometimes that's going to happen. <laughs> I made a tiny miscalculation. 10 nib. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. That does not sound good at all. Uh, Bane is definitely the one we want here. Proceed to the question mark. So that's how you play the silent. Completely different. Completely different. That I have to do it. I just have to. I can't not do it. I have to. It's too good. It's too good. Among the stone. Remove a card from your deck. 
is there a card from my deck I don't want to remove? I don't think so. So just leave. Just leave. I don't want to deal with you, man. I'm just, I'm out of here. I'm gone. Dream catch. Or maybe you waste you may add a card to your deck. Okay. I'm going to take on elite enemy, which is probably not a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway because I'm crazy. I'll drink this potion immediately. Okay. So this guy, we know, is going to buff with the skill crap. So we need to kill him ASAP. That's how he works. Just attack all the time. And kill him fast with attacks. It's so good. This enrage is too good. It's just too good. It's just the enrage is too good. I just don't think a person can kill him fast enough. I just don't know if I can kill him fast enough. Noxious Fume is finally going to activate, but it's a bit too little, bit too late type situation. He's going to attack again, which is bad. Um, that's a skill, that's a skill, that's a skill. So, we can block four. Just, we're, gonna, we're gonna keep tanking damage, that's the problem. Yep. We're always gonna tank damage, because Enrage kind of counteracts our blocks. That's the problem. This guy's very... 42 damage! Excuse me, game. This guy's too strong. Okay, so we cannot fight elites. That's a, that's that's all I've come to conclusion. I've come to conclusion whenever we fight players are silent, we we cannot fight the elite on the first floor. Because it's this guy and he's gonna wreck me. Absolutely wreck me. Oh, 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 oh. Very interesting. The so the problem is that silent uses too many skill cards and enrage is too strong with skill cards. So I gotta skip the elites on the first floor is what it comes down to. Interesting. Very interesting. I need to skip the elites. Whoop, there you guys have it. Once again, the silent we got destroyed as. So I'm gonna go back to the ironclad in the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode of me dying twice, not once, but twice, hit that like button, it helps out a bunch. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. So you'll be updated as soon as new episodes are released on my channel. New episodes are released on my channel every single day. If you want to pick up Slay the Spy for yourself, check the link in the description below. It's on Steam. It's great. It's awesome. It's cheap. Go get it. I'll see you on the next episode of Slay the Spire.